In this video today, we'll be looking at genotype. This is a very interesting topic and popular as well. What is genotype? Genotype is uh, a test or a system that detects the, the type of hemoglobin that is located in your red blood cell. We all know that the hemoglobin is the pigment, is the substance in the red blood cells that carries oxygen. It attaches, it binds to oxygen molecule and you know, oxygen is very very important for us. Now what happens is that there are sets of people that have the disease called sickle cell anemia. In sickle cell anemia you hear the word sickle meaning that the shape of their hemoglobin is not the normal shape it's not as it doesn't have a large surface area instead it is sickle it is smallish and with that their hemoglobin only carries just little amount of oxygen and you discover that sickle cell patients they run into crisis from time to time my heart goes to sickle cell patients if you are one i must tell you you are doing great and there is hope for you all right so um Genotype helps us to know um, what we have in us, whether we, are, we don't have the traits, the sickle cell traits, or we are carriers of it, or if you have the sickle cell anemia. All right, now there's a system that helps us know um, what genotype you have. We have AA, which is the first group. You have AS, second group. You have SS, and you have AC. Some people also say there is SC. The one with C is very uncommon, actually. So, the AA group shows that this set of individuals do not have sickle cell traits they are not carriers and maritally they can get married to anybody they are free to get married to anybody because there is no um, discrepancy all right now the as someone who is with as needs to be careful because this person is having the s traits as you can see he's having the s traits although the other part is good so meaning that the person will need to be careful of who or he or she gets married to in order not to deliver someone with sickle cell anemia the ss is someone that is um, has the disease sickle cell anemia and he, the person has both traits of this meaning that the person carries the trait and it is manifesting then the ac is a variant is a prototype of or let's say another version of the as group all right so importantly it's good to know your genotype because first of all you're able to know your status you're able to know identify yourself you're able to know if you have um the traits in you or you don't have the traits in you to also guide you maritally on knowing whom to marry when it's time for marriage because in premarital counseling, one of the investigations that is done is genotype. Why? Because someone who is AS or SS will need to be guided on who to marry. Don't just marry anyone. Because at the end of the day, if someone who is AS marry an SS person, there's 50 to 75 percent that about four or three or three, two or three of the children will be having sickle cell anemia so it's very very vital to know your genotype next will be i'll just be showing you how um the the matching is between the cross matching is between someone who is aa someone who is as and just a few examples so that you can understand how it all takes place all right now we'll just take a look at a few cross-matching to see how 
um, reproduction takes place and um, uh, reproduction of um, you know the sickle cell trait, how it flows between the husband and the wife and gives birth you know to a child and all the stuff. All right, when someone is AA and gets married to someone who is AS, discover that if they have four children, one will be A, two will be AA, while the remaining two will be carriers of sickle cell. So there is still hope for such union. However, when we have someone who is AS and the next person is AS, discover that there is 25% chance of only one child having um, not having the sickle cell traits, while there is 50% chance that the two children will have the carrier that is there will be a carrier AS AS while there's 25% chance that one of the child will be an acicler an SS now where there is a union between someone with AS and SS it shows that two out of four children is likely to have AS 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 they will be carriers while the remaining two are likely to have the sickle cell disease manifesting in them. All these are speculations. They are speculations based on uh, research and based on um, genetic studies. So it's very, very vital. Information is important. Lastly, where we have an AA person getting married to an SS sickle discover that all the children will be carrier meaning that all the children will need to be careful when they want to get married to make sure that they look for someone who is AA or stand the chance risk the chance of getting one of their child being a sickler all right so for someone who is AA getting married to someone who is AA you discover that all their children will surely be AA Alright, so with this, I would like to advise every one of us to know your status and before you go far with your relationship, please, please and please check and confirm your genotype to avoid, you know, future challenges and future situations that may not be palatable, may not be interesting. Alright, so with that, we've come to the end of today's video on genotype. Please subscribe for more educational videos.